Good morning and happy October 28th. I'm excited to be back. I have taken a couple of weeks off from doing any filming and editing and all of those things. I really just needed a mental break. But anyway, so I'm super excited because we have our exciting, fun Disney Halloween weekend this weekend. And so it's Friday. I'm going to be getting all prepped and ready for that this morning. And Curtis is taking the three older kids to school. And I am going to get the apartment straightened up and start packing and all of that because we are going to stay at Port Orleans Riverside. It was actually one of the only reservations, like resorts that had rooms surprisingly whenever I was booking this whole staycation. So we're going to stay there and we're going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. I have all of our Halloween costumes, but I have not tried them on. I have not even like made sure all the parts and pieces are there. So I'm hoping that it all works out. <laughs> if not, we can wear regular clothes. Like it's not that big of a deal, but I'm hoping that everything fits and it looks cute together. So I need to go through those, pull them out and see if there's anything that I'm gonna need to go to the store to pick up to complete them. And then I wanna go get my nails done. Uh, I would like to get my eyebrows done, but we'll see if we get to that because I feel like there's so many things to do and every time we're leaving to go stay somewhere, it's like I feel like I just have way too much to do and then never get half of it done. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna straighten up this hot mess of an apartment and then we're gonna start getting ready for our fun weekend down at Disney. Now I've taken a shower and I'm heading to get my nails done. I left my hair wet because um, I air dry it usually anyway, but, um, and I didn't put any makeup on because I want tonight the makeup to be fresh, you know? I don't want to have to either pile more makeup on to what I already have on, and I don't want to have to wash my face and do it all over again, so. <laughs> uh, gonna go get my nails done. I think I'm gonna hold off on my eyebrows. I'll probably just pluck the little bit that needs to be done. I haven't found a place here yet that uh, tints and waxes, so that's what we are off to do now. Okay, got my nails done. I feel like this is like my yearly witchy, coveny black nail polish. Cute. Went with the black tonight. Not that it has anything to do with the costume that I have picked out. Now I'm going to run into Walmart to see if they have the wig that I thought was with linens costume so we're going to run into there but chances are they probably already have Christmas stuff in the Halloween section so we'll see if that doesn't work out I actually got some hair color spray to use for both Cayenne's and Lennon's costume theme so We'll see, we'll see. So that's what we're gonna do now and then head back to the apartment, try to get packed up. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do until it's time to head out. I've already gotten a text message saying that the room's not ready. Obviously, I don't expect it to be ready because it's currently only 12 o'clock. We are obviously going to be all characters from Zombies 3. Well, I don't know if that was obvious, but these are the costumes that we're all going to wear tonight, which it is just started raining and that seems to be what has happened through almost every party from everything i read online it seems like it's rained through every single <laughs> halloween party mickey's not so scary this one's gonna be lame here's linen got this for kurt this is luna these are cayenne's and then mine. And again, I still haven't even taken them out of the package, so who knows if they're gonna fit. And then plus on top of our costumes, I have all of my 
Disney shirts that were in my Etsy haul that I'm packing as well. It's going to be, I mean, we're only staying there two nights, so have some extra and a sweatshirt, which I'm sure I'll just wear uh, maybe around the resort or I don't know, but I like to have a sweater just in case too. So I'm gonna pull these out. I did get a few things. I didn't show anything when I went to Walmart, but I got a couple of things to go with the costumes. And now I'm just gonna start packing so we can, we're gonna pack and then head out. <laughs> Disney's Port Orleans, Riverside, and I'm so excited. We haven't stayed in a moderate resort in a long time, and so it seems like it's set up a, very similarly to Caribbean Beach, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited about the food, and you'll see why it has a Cajun Creole flair. Okay, here's a little room tour of our room. <laughs> here's our view. We do just have a wood view. There weren't many options when it came to picking out rooms for this weekend. There's the air conditioning unit, trash, a little table with two chairs, mirror. The fifth sleeper is the room style that we got. And so the fold down bed, that is so cute. We obviously have the signature Disney TV with our name on it. We have a little mini fridge, little coffee station, ice bucket and cups, little thing we can hang stuff on. For the bathroom, you can kind of use a, a shower curtain type thing to close that off. And we have like scenes from Princess and the Frog, which is really cute. That's kind of the theme of this resort. Plenty of space to hang stuff. There's the linens for the pull down bed with the seal on so we know it's clean. Mirror, double vanity some linens, ironing board and iron over there, the extra mirror, full length mirror here. We have someone going to the restroom right now. Then we have two queen size beds as well. It really does feel like we're like in a small little cabin on the bayou, you know, small little house. This is cute. The Blue Bayou Restaurant in New Orleans Square. Oh, that's cool. This is supposed to be like the theme at the Disneyland Park. Oh, that's cool. Headboards, there's the lights. I like the way that Disney changed out all the carpets in the rooms to this like manufactured wood. And then over here, we've got like stone. It's nice. And then over here in the bathroom, <laughs> over here in the bathroom, obviously some more of the Princess and the Frog theming. And this is nice, a little ledge over here that you could sit on if you have little ones and you kind of need to supervise them while they bathe. Then it's like a wood look, wood look planks, um, but it's not, it's, it's like some type of plastic. All the Disney H2O products, more towels. This is very much like Caribbean Beach, right, Dan? Yeah, that's what are, exactly what I was thinking. The 
driving around looking for our room. Yeah, it's huge. Just really spread out. The transportation is the one thing that I'm not looking forward to. First thoughts. Oh, it's amazing. Lena, what are your first thoughts? It's very beautiful here and cool. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. There is a ceiling fan also in the room. But it's already 6.30 and the Halloween party starts in 30 minutes. So we need to start getting ready and head out to the Halloween party. Mm -hmm.